Hey guys, it's the Mathmeister here. We're gonna talk about how to read a box plot. So box plots tell us a lot of information. We should already know that it tells us the minimum, the first quartile, the median, the third quartile, and the maximum. That's our five number summary. So let's start with that. Our minimum, I can tell, is two by looking at this box plot. The minimum would be right there, that is at two. My first quartile, or my Q1, appears to be at 3. That would be right here. My median is actually going to be at 5.5. And, and I can tell that it's at 5.5 because it's halfway between 5 and 6. So that's going to be my median. My third quartile, or my Q3, is at 9. And my maximum is at 12. So the maximum is at 12. Now, it is awesome that we can see the five number summary from a box plot, but there is so much more that we can do with this information. So one of the first things that we can do is we can identify our range. So as we know, the range is the difference between our minimum value and our maximum value. So if I've got my max minus min, that would be 12 minus two, and I can see that our range is 10. Now, very similar to the range is the interquartile range. So that is interquartile range. Now, we don't like to say interquartile range all the time. We often abbreviate that as the IQR. Now the IQR is the difference between our quartiles, specifically the first quartile and the third quartile. So we're gonna be taking Q3 and subtracting Q1 from it. So in this situation, that's gonna be nine minus three, and that gives us an IQR of six. Now, when we're looking at this data, remember the median split the data directly in half. That means that on this side of our box plot, we have 50% of the data. And on this side of the box plot, we have the other 50% of the data. Now keep in mind that after we split our data directly in half, we then split each of those halves in halves again. And that's how we found our first quartile and our third quartile. So because of that, we know that this section is 25% of the data. This section is 25% of the data. This section is 25% of the data. And this section is 25% of the data. So these are all things that we can figure out just by looking at a box 